construction, smells of corruption. I manipulate, to recreate. This air has to go around Saga. Go under. My karma. I'm Jeff Contreras, and I'm host of Austin Cable Access Show, Therefore I Am, the philosophical show with the political edge. And boy, do I have quite a special treat for you today. For the next hour or so, we'll be talking to Fritz Springmeier, author of Bloodlines of the Illuminati. Fritz, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. It's a real pleasure. Fritz, I... Your book has been out now for... Actually, it was republished, isn't that correct? Yes, it's it's been reprinted twice. Yes. Reprinted twice, and the the title of the book is the Bloodlines of the Illuminati. What exactly is the Illuminati? The Illuminati is the continuation of the mystery religions. Uh, there was uh, quite a number of mystery religions in antiquity and these mystery religions had councils that controlled them and then there was a supreme council that operated from clear from India to the British Isles that then coordinated all of these mystery religions and that would be the uh, today what we call the hierarchy of the Illuminati so the Illuminati is basically just an extension of the mystery religion system the whole type of philosophy Yes, it was a way of hoarding knowledge and power to a few special people. And how do they hoard the knowledge? Uh, well, when I say knowledge, some of the knowledge is pseudo-knowledge, and some of the knowledge is actually uh, scientific knowledge, which enabled, for instance, Christopher Columbus to be certain that he could sail to um, sail across across the Atlantic and hit land. He was associated with the Knights Templars, which is one of these secret societies associated with the Illuminati. So, so you've got different types of knowledge, but some of the knowledge is actually bogus. It's just, it's just claimed so that they can get people to join whatever mystery religion they're, they're trying to offer. Okay, Fritz. Now, why are families so important in this? Uh, it's obviously, you titled it Bloodlines, and mm -hmm. that must have to do with the families. Why are they so important? It has to do with how they pass power from one generation to another. It also in, involves the uh, occult powers. Uh, they try to have um, full-blooded members. They believe that... Uh, at least the traditionalists within the Illuminati, which are the full-blooded members, they believe that to really be a powerful witch with all the occult powers that demonology gives you, that you have to uh, be a full-blooded uh, member who's got a genealogy that goes back many years. 
So in effect, uh, what you're talking about is basically a generational Satan.